took me a while to find you, Marcus. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants, and I always accomplish my mission. We fought for our dream and we lost. You can't hold my people down forever. One day we'll rise up again and we will win. Go on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? And now, straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Just? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just confirmed. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit, and the area around the Hard Plaza camp is now under control. We can see soldiers going through the city at this very moment, and they are exterminating the last fleeing deviants. Law and order has finally been restored to the streets of Detroit. There is a general feeling of shock in Detroit after the terrible events of the last few hours. And initial estimates report several hundred troops have been killed. According to our sources, the deviant leader known as Marcus was shot during the fighting. The death of the deviant leader marks the end of the Android Rebellion. The destruction of the androids in the camps can now continue as planned. Nevertheless, it will take some time for Detroit to recover from these events. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, we took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customers' trust, but it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK-900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient. And equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. You can go now. 